do temperatures in the 60s, lots of sunshine, zen moments outside. Did you order this for us? Because we did. need it, you know? It was cute. Everyone you know, in Connecticut. My son in school, I, he learned when, when you get upset that you, you breathe in blue skies, you breathe out gray skies. And I was like, did they know? Really? Did they know That's about so me? That is so perfect. We've all been breathing <laughs> so, in gray skies the past 48 hours. Yeah, I know, but now it's nothing but blue good. in the forecast. So I think you're really going to like it. The only thing, if I had to play devil's advocate, and it's kind of my job, it is going to be dry stretch of weather. And we still need rainfall to make up for that rainfall deficit that's ever growing. I had to say it. But let's take a look at the overall weather setup here. Not only did we turn milder today, but it will get even warmer as we head towards this weekend with temperatures that that could approach the 70 degree mark and 60s that will stick around right through the middle of next week. I teased earlier before the break that we would take a look at the November temperature outlook too. And NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, a lot of our computer guidance on board with above average temperatures for the rest of the month. Okay, that doesn't mean every single day will be above average and in the 60s temperatures will dip they're going to vary but overall as a month when you crunch the numbers they'll be above average and fairly high likelihood of that happening. Temperatures in the mid 40s to right around 50 degrees for New Haven through Waterbury, middle 50s in Hartford and Groton. Not only are we quiet here across Connecticut and the Northeast but like the entire country, it's everybody just kind of needed a moment and the weather is actually working with us for a change. Temperatures tonight dropping back into the 40s instead of the 20s with mostly clear skies tomorrow. Highs climbing into the middle to upper 60s, so even warmer than it was out there today with mostly sunny skies. And we're going to keep with that theme on Friday with high temperatures in the mid 60s to right around 70 degrees. By this weekend, we're up around 70 on Saturday and temperatures will be in the mid to upper 60s on on Sunday. I think both weekend days we may start off with some early low clouds and fog really early in the morning and then we'll break for sunshine. Let's talk about the tropics and Hurricane Ada that made landfall yesterday in Nicaragua has now been downgraded to a tropical depression continues to bring just boatloads of flooding rainfall in Central America. This storm did end up breaking a record for the strongest hurricane that was named after a letter in the Greek alphabet. We're not done with Ada just yet. The storm may strengthen back into a tropical storm, getting close to South Florida, heading into early next week. So we'll continue to keep a close eye on it. That being said, sea surface temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico, that's where the storm's trying to go, are not nearly as warm as they have been earlier in the season. Obviously, it's coming to a close here, so we're not expecting any rapid intensification after that. And we also tied the record for named storms, the previous record, 2005. I guess it still kind of holds the record. It's a tie at this point for the most named storms. It's a record that nobody really wanted to tie or break, though, and hopefully we're done. Here's your seven day forecast temperatures in the upper 60s to right around 70 degrees heading into this weekend. The next chance for rain is going to be next Wednesday with high temperatures in the mid to upper 60s and showers that are likely as we head through the afternoon. Your shoreline seven day mid to upper 60s through Saturday at well, really straight across the board here. So we've got a pretty easy forecast for you ahead, but Matt Scott and Dan and Miranda will keep you posted with any updates tomorrow. Tomorrow morning on the Fox 61 morning news, guys.